Hello folks and welcome to day 25 of the November Daily Speed Material Challenge. How are you all doing today? You well? I'm just going to quickly go and check my audio before we start because I don't want to be all crackling jack over here. I just want to check that everything's working properly because sometimes it doesn't for whatever reason. So just bear with me a second and we'll get on with Desho. Let me see. Um, for whatever reason. So just bear with me a second okay. and we'll get on. Sounds good to me. Okay, sweet. Let's get on with it. Okay, folks. So, hello. How are you doing? Are you well? Um, yesterday, I didn't stream because it was the Great British Bake Off finale. And I was watching it with a lovely wife. And, uh, yeah, I still did the work. I just did it around the show. So, I did an hour before and a little bit after. So, I'll show you what I did yesterday. Yesterday's prompt was game. So, I made, of course, the classic Pac-Man. I thought, I wonder if you can make Pac-Man just out of nodes. And the answer is yes, you can, in about an hour and a half. So, that's what I did. Um, so that's what you can see here. This is made entirely in Substance Designer with the nodes. The nodes get a little messy. It's not loads and loads, but it's quite a few. It probably could have been done cheaper. But uh, yeah, it all started with a little little shape like that. And so I figured the best way of doing this would have been building it all up. Get all the gangways in place and then eventually figure out the outside. And then I can use that to control where I put all the spots and stuff. So after a bunch of manipulating things and playing with the bevel and smooth and whatnot, I uh, created little characters individually. And uh, the reason I made them individually is because each character's got its own characteristics. These two are the same, but then this guy's looking up, this guy's looking left. I can't remember the names exactly, sorry. It's like Inky, Blinky, Bill and Bob or something like that. Um, but basically, yeah, you get it. There was a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff and a lot of solid colors. And then I put an emissive on it as well, just to give it that bit of video game pop. So today's thing, though, because that was yesterday's. We're not talking about yesterday's anymore. Yesterday's is gone. Bye-bye, yesterday. Today, we are on instruments. So let me quickly show you what I'm planning to do. Now, instruments, at first, I was thinking of guitar, because I love guitar. I've played guitar my whole life. But recently, over the past year or so, half a year or so, I've been really keep trying to get into music making uh, and, you know, just beat making in general. And these kind of things are what I really want. I want physical tactile sample pads, which I just can't. I can't get it right now, which makes me sad. But I have an iPad, so I use that, and that's close enough. Um, but one thing I want to make today, I want to make this pad, the Akai MPD-218. This is an awesome little pad. Uh, it's nice to look at. It's relatively straightforward shape-wise, so we should be able to get it done in the time frame. It's still going to be a challenge, though. Don't don't let it deceive you. It's still a tricky bugger. <laughs> uh, now, Akai, it's funny, Akai is red in Japanese, so their kind of trademark is red highlights and stuff. So they used to have this kind of stuff going on. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. So let's get on with it, shall we? Let's just get on with the show. Hopefully everything's still working okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to give myself yesterday's tick. Let's just quickly do that. Yesterday's tick was game. Boom, there it is. Okay, back to where we need to be. And then we need to reset the clock, of course. Um, also, I didn't fix my webcam. Oh, I'm such a professional. There's one setting on my webcam that will not work by default. I always have to come in here and disable it myself. Um, so yeah, we should be good now. We should be good to go. Hopefully, you can all hear me okay, and hopefully this is looking okay. Now let's get on with it. Instruments. Hello. There we go. Okay. Right, so step one. Let's get the shapes in. Oh, funky beats. Good old Harris keeping his company. Harris Heller, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, reset the clock. Sip my juice. And we start. Right. Let's get this done. So the first thing I want to do, I want to create the overall shape so that we can work to that. Uh, now, actually, it might be beneficial if I make the buttons first, and then I can make the shape behind it, and then figure out the kind of uh, the kind of distances that I want to I want to work with. If that makes sense, I've got a different angle of the pad as well, so I can just see extra things like this little section. Actually, is that just a cut in? I thought it was like a raised section. Uh, no, yeah. Is, is it raised or is it just a line? We're going to do it as a little raised section. <laughs> so, yeah, let's do that. A bit of artistic license. A bit of bloody license. So, four by four on the pads. Let's make a tile sampler. Uh, and in that tile sampler, ironically, we're using a sampler to make a sampler. I didn't even think of that. Um, so, let's just whack in four by four. And we've got ourselves our grid already. This will just help us establish what we want to do. So, we can get a cheeky little transform going on. Uh, just so we can uh, move it specifically to where we want it to be. So we can do that. Set this to not tile so that we don't get more than four tiles showing up. 
well, more than 16 tiles. You know what I'm saying. And then we can create the shape underneath that. So let's just position this how we want it to be. I think it would be... Now remember, we're working to a square. This isn't a square shape, so we need to make sure we account for a gap at the top and bottom. Which means we should be somewhere around there-ish. We can always manipulate it later, but for now it's just trying to give us that starting point, that establishing note, as it were. Uh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's go and attach that so that we've got something to start with. Boom. Into the height. And into the ambient occlusion. And into the normal. There we go. Oh, also we want to make sure that we've got everything turned on properly. Direct Dex is on there. We've set a scale to 5. Is that too high? 5 should be okay, because that's the full depth. Actually, we want more than 5. We're probably going to go for 10 today. Uh, let's turn on Tessellation, because since we're working in such high numbers, Parallax won't really work too well. It'll swim too much on the corners. Uh, so let's set this to 10. We're going to get into sections, but that's okay for now. We can deal with that later. Okay, cool. And then set Tessellation Factor to 7 if we can handle it today. Let's see, computer. Are you going to be nice to me? Are you going to start crying and turning off? Oh, that jumped a lot. My CPU percentage went up 5% with that. But that's okay. That's okay. So yeah, 10 should be enough, because then that's high enough to get the knob and then the little platform and the little pad. Yeah, we should be alright. We could always, we could probably reduce it a little bit, to be honest. But for now, we're not going to. We're going to just focus on getting this right. So let's try and get the initial shape in place. What's going to go behind the buttons? Uh, an hour 56. We're fine with this. We're fine. So shape... I'm going to try and attempt something a little cheeky, which should work okay. Uh, something I was doing yesterday for the Pac-Man stuff. Let's just do this. Pop that in. By the way, if you guys ever wonder what I'm doing, I'm always just looking around like this. It's because my reference is on that screen. So what you're seeing on that little window to the right of my main screen is my reference. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, so yeah, if I'm not just doing this like, you know, sort of watching somebody else do it and figure it out. I'm just looking at reference. I, don't, I just realised, I, I don't think I've ever said that's what I'm doing. I just assume people know, but some people might be like, hey, is he cheating? No, not at all. <laughs> I wish. I wish it was that easy. Um, right, okay, so yeah, we've got the shape. That's, oh, I can already see that's too slim, but we're just going to roughly get it right. So That's roughly it. Now, if we go to edge detect, that'll let us get kind of nice rounded edges on it. See like that? Now, that's actually about the right level of roundness that I want. Now, your problem you've got here is that you end up stuck with this kind of outer section, which is a pain in the backside, because it's the same color as the middle, which means if you're trying to set it to multiply or add or something like that, then you're going to get the same effect on the outside, and all you're going to have is the line, which is the point. It's edge detected. It detects the edge. You, that's the bit you want. We want the bit inside the edge. So the way you can fix this is if you get a blend, uh, and you plug that into there, plug that into there, and set it to uh, multiply, there you go. So what that's basically done is it's took the information from here and it's multiplied it with this, which was the original shape, which the corners have been shaved off in the edge detect. See? So the original shape subtracts from that because it's darker. It multiplies, so it's darker. And then you get left with the middle bit, which is what we want. So it's a handy little, handy little technique if you ever want to get rounded edges. Uh, you can also achieve the same thing by doing uh, a non-uniform... Uh, by doing a blur... And then using histogram scan, that gives you the same kind of effect. Uh, and it also gives you a different a different type of control over the shape of it. But I find this gives me a better control over the kind of the tight roundness in this. Because you can kind of you can do it that way rather than just, you know, messing with everything. And I quite like that. It's it's a useful little feature. So let's just pop this here. Um we're gonna use levels again to try and control everything individually. We could do it at the end. But it's much, much cleaner to do it as you go along. So, let's see. We want the pad to be at the lowest, well, one of the lowest points. Not super low, because we want to have some height to the pad itself. Uh, which I'm going to do with a bevel in a minute. But for now, let's plug this in here. Let's lower this quite a bit down, so we've got loads of space to work with. So this can be like the height of the pad. Put that there. Set us to max lighten, so that everything... Lighter will take priority, so that way we can keep stacking on top, you see. Uh, all right, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. And then what I want to do as well, I want to give this a slight bevel, just to catch this edge bevel here. Do you guys see that okay? Yeah. I'll zoom in a bit more. This edge bevel here. <laughs> oh, man. It's an itchy ear. 
So have you folks been having a nice week so far? Um, I have just finished watching The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but it's a great show. Highly recommend it. Very, very beautiful, like visually fantastic film, um, TV show. Production. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> what do you call it when it's a TV show that's not on TV? Is it just a production? Is it a streaming show? That doesn't sound very cool, does it? It's not really got the same ring to it. I was on streaming. Hmm. Right, let's get this sorted. That looks to be enough of a bevel. Give it a tiny bit of smoothing just to try and fix that. Now we want to keep the sharpness there. Okay, like I said, we're going to have intersections here. We can fix that in the new version of Substance, but I don't think I can fix it here. It just... Oh, it's funny, I don't ever recall it doing that in the past. But, oh well. <laughs> what can you do, eh? What can your pigging do? See, if we have just intensity, you can see it's okay. But, that... See, I don't think it's going to be high enough for the knobs. But, we can figure that out, I guess. Okay, and then what I want to do now, I'm actually going to bevel this again, I think. Will that work? No, what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to use a uh, gradient tool, gradient map node, forgive me. I'm going to go to where the black part is. I'm just going to give it a bit of a sharp fall off. This should give us like a little lip that drops down. Whoa, that was interesting. Oh, it's not, it's not set to grayscale, so it completely broke the job up. Come on, you slow computer. Wait, my fault. I'm clicking the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah, see, so now we've got the little edge lip and we've also got the kind of the drop to the back which isn't very high but it's okay for this so let's move on let's go and do the the button height so remember we're going to have a little box behind that as well so we can get we can put that little box in now and then we'll sort the button height in a sec but it'll help us position where it is exactly I'll move that along because i want to put, connect the bit in first Shape again. Okay, I want this to stay square this time, so I'm going to reduce the size of it like that, and then I'm going to use a transform to position it properly. Okay, same thing as last time. I'm going to get the edge detect. Uh, I'm actually going to do it to this part. And remember, I like the default value. I'm going to leave it at the default value. Sometimes that just works, and that's great when that works, because it saves you a bit of time and a bit of effort. Now, there's nothing wrong with time and effort, but when you don't have much time, you want to be able to do it as easily as possible. And there's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're not cheating. Right, so let's position this now where we want it to be. So we set this to max lighten. Set this to not, transfer, uh, not tile. And then we can reduce the size of this to try and match up with our buttons. So let's connect this directly in. Actually, I'm going to set the levels on it so it's lower. Oops, not there. Actually, I'm going to duplicate that levels because it gives me a starting point that's close to what I want. See, so now I can just raise that a bit more and I know that it's just a little bit raised from the last value. There we go, and then I'm going to max lighten that. There we are, and now I can see what I'm doing, which is always, always a bonus. So let's get our transform. We're going to move it over. We're going to move it down. We're going to shrink it. Oh, the magic. So many magics. Now, I should have been a bit smarter and done this when it was a bit lighter, so it's not so hard to see. 
That's okay. Who needs to see? It's overrated. Okay, that's roughly right. It doesn't need to be exact right now. We can always make tweaks later on. Um, but there we go. That's that. Let's make it a little... I quite like the fact that it's just a little lip, but it feels like it's too little of a lip. But let's leave it for now. Like I said, adjustments are coming later. So now let's focus on getting these buttons lowered because they're way too high right now. Okay, it looks like a decent height. Now, the buttons are also a bit rounded, so we're going to do the edge detect trick with these as well. See, they're not fully squared, they're rounded off. Um, out of interest, how much shorter than the knobs are they? Quite a bit, really, by the looks of it. Um, yeah, all right. Right, an hour 47. This is going quicker than I expected, but that's okay. We're still going to make it. Uh, all right, so let's just quickly work through. Let's not think about things too much. Let's just do. We can fix mistakes later, but we can't fix losing all the time later, can we? Now, we want just a little bit of roundness on these. Not a load. Not as much as the, the panel itself. So that should be about right. And then same again. Blend. Put that there. Put that there. And set you to multiply. Oh yeah, rounded buttons. They've got a little inner section as well, but um, which we can, I guess we can visualize that with some height. Why not? Eh? Why not? Uh, let's just think about how to do this. Okay, uh, it's got a bevel node. Actually, we can just use this. If I get this edge detect node, this should should work, right? If I make this quite a thick line, yeah. Then I go to blend. Multiply this. That should give us what we want, so let's blend this now. Uh, I'm just going to set it to subtract, so it pulls out of the height. And then just really use the pasty to control it. So now if we plug that into there, we should get a little inset. There you go. But see, it's really strong. We don't want it that strong. So what we're going to do is we are going to reduce the strength of this subtract. It's going to be a really low number. But it's just to give that hint of little something something going on there. And the fact is, this is probably inverted. We probably want it to be protruding a bit more than the other one. So maybe that's what we should do. So to do that, we're going to get our levels again. Um, let me just move this all over. Okay, yeah, instead of setting this to subtract, let's set it to max lighten. And then I'm going to use the levels and just lower the one underneath. Just ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Oops. See, we've just got a little bit of a lip going on now. Just giving it a little bit of lip. Little bit of lip. And then we can use edge detect and just change the width to control how far into the pad that is. So about there looks fine. Uh, that levels is too strong, even though it's only a teeny bit. So let's move it just a smidge. We just want to give the impression of an impression. So that should work fine now. Okay, let's lower the strength of this ambient occlusion though. That's going nuts. Look at that bad boy. It's like everything will be shadowed. Everything. Radius is really high on that as well. We want it fairly close. They're not very tall, so they wouldn't get overly shadowed. Something like that should work. Maybe a bit stronger. Okay, that'll do. Uh, right, so let's go and get ourselves some of the bits and pieces in place and then we can work on them individually whilst maintaining everything else and then balancing it all together. So uh, yeah, we're looking okay, I think. I think we'll be all right with this. So an hour 44 left, we can do this. <laughs> Excuse me, again, hiccups. It's What is it about streaming that gives me hiccups? I wonder, if it, I wonder if it's because I don't really talk that much in general. Or at least I don't think I do. And so coming up, coming upstairs and streaming 
just talking for two hours. Uh, my buddy goes, hey, what's going on? We're losing oxygen. Hiccups. Send the hiccups. He's losing it. I don't think that's the case, but it'd be interesting if it was, wouldn't it? Right, there's that. And then we're going to save, because remember, folks, remember, folks, save. Always save. So, let's get the knobs in. Now, we're only going to make one and use it six times. It makes zero sense to make six of them. So, I don't even know why I'm saying it to you. But, that's what we're doing. So, let's go get ourselves a shape. Oh, we're also going to cut out the holes where the knobs go, so that they, they sit a bit better. So, that should be pretty, pretty good for us to do. Um... Can we do this in a clever way? I don't really want to attempt to be clever, if that makes sense, but let's just let's just see if we can save ourselves some time with this. I'm gonna go to the tile sampler. I'm gonna get a disc. And I'm gonna set this to Three by three, change the scale down. Okay, that might work. We can take this section, sort of this domino. I think we can use that. Let me just see, let me, let me do a little test. See how we get on with this, shall we? Um, now I could use a shape and subtract from this, but I'm probably just gonna use a blend node and just cut it off. Oh, to be fair, no, I'll use the shape and I'll subtract just so that we can see what we're doing pretty specifically. And we can always adjust it later then. It's a bit it's a bit neater. Because if you do the adjustments on the cropping area of the blend node, you don't know which ones you've done that to. Whereas if you can see you've got a shape plugged into it, you're like, oh, that'd be, that'd be a subtract, wouldn't it? A cheeky little subtract. So turn the tiling off for this. Oh, wait, not subtract, sorry, my bad. Multiply. So this way we can control which ones of these we want to see. In fact, we should have done this in the mask. But this will do. Okay, so there's our bits that we want to use. So now we can get that and we can transform that result to give us a whole new thing. Uh, and then we can put that over here. So let's get a blend again. Put that there, put that in here. I'm just going to subtract this because like I said, I want to cut the holes out of it. Uh, and we're going to position where we want it to be, which is further down, obviously. All right, so it's roughly in the middle of the third pad and the first pad. First, third, okay, so ours is too big right now. Let's go and adjust that. So we can set this to, let's see, eight by eight. Okay, that'll be the right size. And then we can just go and get our uh, our transformation node. Let's just pinch the bottom up a bit more to cut that off. Okay, and then we're gonna use this and scale this up. It's a weird way of doing things, but it works for me. Not always, obviously, but you know, most of the time. So this way, this is relatively, relatively lined up with what we're doing. Just move that up a little bit. That's still off, isn't it? So we want it to be closer together. So that means we want them to be uh, more, more in there. Whoops, not 108, 10. Okay, let's just quickly play with this transform and see if we can get this to line up. So, there, there, and there. Okay, I think that might be more our cup of tea. Like I said, we can do this manually. I just thought this would be a quicker way of doing it, but it's not turning out quicker so far. So I might just sort of bin it off and do it manually. But let's just have a look, shall we? Just crop them off. Crop that off. I could plug this into the mask as well, just to make sure what actually gets rendered and what doesn't, but there's not much point at this stage. OK, 
Okay, so they're not far off the right size, I think. 2.6. Too big? 2.5. That's probably us. They're a little bit too close together, but yeah, that's probably... Let's just 0 0.45. Let's meet in the middle. All right, now we're talking. That's the one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, we might adjust the size of the overall pad because it feels a bit wrong now, but at the same time, I don't know. All right, for now, that'll do. So let's keep going with it. Like I said, we can always make adjustments later. So now we want to get three buttons for the bottom. Uh, actually, yeah. I'll sort the knobs out in a minute. I'll, first, I just want to place everything and figure out what we're doing with everything. So let's just go and quickly sort out this um, the levels on this so it's not too extreme. We don't want to go in all the way to the bottom. Not that it really matters because we're going to put stuff on top of it. But I just don't want it to be too extreme. Actually, it's subtract, isn't it? <clears throat> it's subtract. Well, yeah, it's, it's subtract, so I'm just going to use the opacity on this. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's get these buttons in. For these buttons, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do a tile sampler again, I think. I'm just, I'm enjoying tile samplers today. I pressed the wrong thing and now it's going to take a while to load. Oh, God. Right. Tile sampler. Right, let's use four by three. Wrong way around. Three by four. Okay, we want more of a gap between them. So let's change this size of Y. Actually, yeah, we'll just use this for one of them, and then we'll duplicate that. That'll be a bit quicker for us. We don't have much time to faff about with this, so let's just do it. That's a blend. I'm just going to cut them out this time. Don't have time not to, really. And then we're going to transform that. We can use a mirror grayscale to duplicate it for one to two, but there's not much point because it's just it's just a shape. It's just a one sand, standard shape that we're going to move, so we might as well just do this. Add them together, max lighten, um, and then use transformation 2D to just move it up. That way we can control exactly where it is. Uh, we might end up doing this with the knobs anyway, but let's just go and see how we're going with this. So, transformation 2D node, put that there. Get ourselves a little levels going. Blend that on top. Simple. Okay, so now it's going to just stomp over everything because that makes sense. So we need to set this to max lighting. And then we're going to go and adjust the size of this because it's humongous right now. Oh, turn off tiling as well. Otherwise, you're going to get loads of buttons. And we like buttons, but not that many. Alright, so this is roughly in line with the bottom of the... It's in line with the bottom of the outer part of the pad, which we've got here. So that's roughly right. Uh, and it's about that far away. See, so it just helps bring everything together when you do this in, in sort of chunks. Then we can realise how off the, the knobs are, which is very at the moment. So for them, what we can do uh, is we can just do the same thing as we just we just did, I think. Maybe just get one strip and then adjust it. 
Right, so we've got that. So they need to be bigger. The knobs, I mean. I think the buttons are okay for now. Oh, they're way too high though, aren't they? Of course. Forgot to lower them, that's why. Oh, I could just go away. Okay, they're a bit lower in profile as well. Maybe not that much lower. There we go. And then the knobs we're going to go put in the right place. You know what, I'm going to go old school with the knobs, I think. This this uh, system isn't working too well for me. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this, but we're going to set it to max lighting. I'm going to duplicate this, set it to a disc. Could have just used that, couldn't I? Okay, now get rid of that, set a new transformation 2D so that's fresh. Set it to no tiling. Or leave it at HMV, it's up to you. <laughs> Actually, that might be beneficial for us. If I scale it down here. Probably control the dis the difference between them from here. Ow. So that looks to be a better fit for what we're after. So now if I grab that, get rid of this. Do, 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 do. Let's get intense, folks. Let's get a step on. You can imagine people doing like aerobics to this in the 80s. Okay, set to subtract. Put a transformation 2D on it. No tiling for me, please, sir. And then we're going to move that over. So only allow for those two. So it's a little more complex than before, but hopefully that should still give us the kind of result we're after. If not, we can always make further adjustments. Um, in fact, yeah, I'm going to already from the off, I'm going to slice this a bit further. Oops, just I just want one, one group that we can use. <coughs> Sorry. Bit of a cloggy chest at the moment. Uh, okay, so transformation to D. Let's put these where they belong. We'll look at the end results so that we can see that. It's kind of awkward doing it where we're doing it. So the sort of, the middle of the knob is kind of over the left side of the third button. That's about this high. We've got something way off here and I think it's a scale of the buttons that they're too, f yeah, let's go fix that. Uh, the distance is too great between them. And because we use edge attack for this, we should still have the right inset later so yeah see the gap here is massive we need a much smaller gap so let's increase the scale of these that should oh god what happened there should give us a better result i think that's a bit closer and yeah see because we used the edge attack before it's kept the inset the same which is really handy okay that should help us align everything a little better now First of all, the buttons, the three buttons that I've added, sorry, the six buttons I've added, are definitely in the wrong place. So let's go and adjust them. They're way too high. Actually, no, they're not. It's The gap's too big between them, maybe. Either way, I've bossed something up there. <laughs> Do you ever have that way? Sometimes you just look at something, you, your brain says that's wrong, and your head goes, I know, but I don't know why. That's that right now.
Okay. Right, something like that should do. It still just feels way off, but I think that's just because I've not put the text in yet. But let's lower these down anyway, just to make me feel a bit better about it for now. Oh yeah, see that the scale compared to the buttons. On the reference, the buttons are like... Like, they both fit within the size of one of the sample pads. So they must be quite a bit smaller. Okay, that's more the size of the buttons. We just need to fix the distance in now. Uh, so again, I could just make this manually. Uh, it'd probably be much easier and quicker. Uh, which I'm probably going to do, to be honest. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just be quick about it. So we've got two of them that we like. Um, this is a bit of a weird, unorthodox way of doing this. But you know what? I've got tired eyes and I want to get this done. I feel like I'm losing momentum. I don't want to lose momentum, so let's get back onto this. We started strong, we're going to finish strong. Okay, so uh, we want this to be set to mm, Transformation 2D. No tiling on that. I've got such dry lips today. No tiling on this. I'm going to subtract you. And I'm going to move you. So we just want one of these. Because I'm happy with the height. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. Which, again, very unorthodox. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. But this is the way it's going. Because like I said before, if you can't think what to do properly, just do what you're thinking at the time and fix it later if you can do. It's not the best mantra in the world. <laughs> but it gets stuff done, doesn't it? What did I just do? Okay, max light in that one. Move it over. Same again. Now granted this involves some more eyeballing than just being like very precise like the other method would be. But it's also a lot quicker for us. See I'm already happier with that. That's way better. They feel a bit short though. Let's make them a little bit taller. One point three maybe. Better, better size. Okay, so now we're gonna. Um, what are we gonna do now? Yeah, so we'll put the little buttons in place. Let's go fix the positions of the knobs where they need to be properly. The dials. I should start saying dials, shouldn't I? It sounds a lot better. Right, so let's move this over here. These just still feel off. What is it that feels so off about this to me? I feel like they should be bigger. And move them over. Just a smidge. Alright, something like that. And then we can get another transformation 2D. Get a blend. Okay, I don't want to spend too long getting this super precise we're just as long as it looks like what we're trying to aim for at the end it doesn't need to be an exact replica does it people aren't looking and comparing them side by side this is just a fun little practice so let's move this over here move this to the side of there and these ones are sort of there-ish okay that should do nicely we've got a lot of text to do as well just remembered so we're going to have to start hurrying through this all right, now I want to quickly get this, um, these little dial parts in. These little, not dial, what's the word? Little LEDs. And then we can get the actual handles in the holes there. Hey, beautiful. All right, so let's move this all the way a bit because it's a bit messy at the moment. Uh, blend. Okay, so these little dots should be fine to do. We're just going to get the shapes. Uh, use a power blade. 
or pavabloid. I don't know if it's pavabloid or pavabloid, but we're going to get one of these things. It's like when people say Fresnel instead of Fresnel. For years I thought it was Fresnel, but no, it's Fresnel. That's funny, sometimes you hear it in like tutorials and things, people still call it Fresnel. You're like, I know something you don't. It's magic time. this put this next to here and then we can blend these together uh, and then these can go side by side just like they do in the picture there we are and now we can position that where we want it to be on this so blend where's the door the shop is here so that's the max lighting Thank you, Alexa. Okay, and then we're going to transform that so it's the right size. Okay, there we go. There's that. We're going to put, run it through the levels in a bit as well so it's the right height. But right now, we're just going to position it, so don't worry about that. It needs to be way smaller. And these are going to go above the first and third buttons. Sort of there. Okay, and then we're going to get another transformation 2D node. Got to plug this into here. Blend these together, and then that way they should both be fairly accurate. Let's just put that there so we can see what it's doing. Alright, so let's move this over above the first button. There we go, that's roughly right. Roughly. That's all we need right now is roughly. <laughs> um, I think the body's too wide as well. I'm going to adjust that in a bit. Uh, but for now, I'm happy with it. How did I make the body again? Okay, I've got this. So, yeah, I could, I could go and change this, but I don't really want to right now. I'm just going to leave it as it is. We can adjust that later, but right now it gives us freedom to move. It gives us space to work. Uh, you don't want to start feeling cramped and confined. It gets more difficult then. So let's get our levels in here so we can control the height of these little diodes, the little LEDs. They're way too strong right now. They just need to be a soft little bump. There we go. That'd be fine. Uh, are they too low? I think they're a bit too low, so... Because this is a transformation of this one, we can just move this one and they'll both move. It's the beauty of doing that. Whoops. It's frustrating when it moves somewhere you don't want it to. Even when you're holding shift, it's like, I'm going to go this way. All right, there we go. Now, that's our general shape sorted. I'm, I'm relatively happy with that. We've got an hour 20 left. So let's go and make the knob and then we can start making all the text and stuff. That's going to be the longest part, I think. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's get, so we've, we've already cut out the holes for it, so it should sit properly. Now let's move everything up a bit so we can get to where this is and then use that for the information that we want to gather. That was a weird sentence. I don't even know if it made any sense, but I said it. Basically, I'm going to make it up and put it in the hole that's there. Now to do that, we can, should, hmm, theoretically this can be fairly straightforward, but theory always bites you in the bum, doesn't it? Let's just try something a second. This is a really kind of hacky way of doing this, but I'm just going to duplicate this shape a second. I'm going to create a... Hmm. If I create a starburst, a star, sorry. Would a star work? No, not a star, a starburst. I don't think that's the one I want. Okay, I'm going to use a circular splatter node. Or splatter circular, whichever way you want to say it. Let's 
So I'm just experimenting a little bit whilst we're doing this. Okay, no, I've got a better idea. Okay, let's forget that. Delete these. I want to get this as circles, as um, power blades, like before. But we're going to sp we're going to spread them out a bit like that. That way, when they're on top of this, they'll be able to just cut out the edge, and that should help get the shape that we want. If that makes any kind of sense, it will do in a bit. Don't worry. Um, just to remind myself of that, I'm going to do this. Subtract that. Okay, yeah, so just change the radius of this a bit higher. There you go, that should give us that kind of notched look, which is what we want at the top. But that's just to remind myself, I'll do that in a minute. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to get this bevels. Uh, we're going to get this, and we're going to run it through a bevel. An internal bevel and then we can run the result of the bevel through a curved node to try and give it a bit of a profile going on so we want it to kind of dip in at the bottom like so and that actually should pretty much be right for that now to be able to do this i just thought we are gonna have to do we are gonna have to do a bit of a hack because we need to replicate that shape so just duplicate this and i'll plug this into there that way it gives us six of them in the right places and then i can use that blend it on top of these and that should give us the result that we're after hopefully so if i put that there if i put that there and i set this to min darken um, let's just delete that first I don't need that to be leveled yeah so min darken and that way we've got our little bevel piece and then we've got this so then we can go and adjust this to have the um, the radius that we want on it because at the moment it's there but that's the original shape we want it post bevel so it'll make sense in a minute you can trust me uh, radius okay there we go right, so see if we start to creep this in see how we're starting to get the kind of look that we want i'm going to reduce the strength of that obviously but can we adjust the shape uh, we can can't we let's adjust this the height of these there we go that's more like it and then we change the radius back again not back to what it was but just a little bit further back down the, the handle there we are that's more like what we're after lovely that's nice when that happens, when it actually works. Okay, let's go see how this looks. It's going to be really strong, but we can then um, adjust it. So, duplicate that, put you there. Do you have a levels on the end of you? Yes, you do. Wait, wrong one. There you are. <laughs> Got a bit lost there. Right, we're going to add it just after we added the holes, which is here. So... Move that over there, move this over here, connect this one, and then we're gonna add the um Yeah, we're gonna add the the new dials to this. I'm doing what I can to avoid saying knob, I kept because I kept saying it before. It just feels a bit wrong, doesn't it? So this should work and it'll be way too high. Actually that works pretty fine. We don't we want it pretty high because it's the highest point, isn't it? So I'm quite happy with that, actually. That's worked out way better than I expected. Okay, let's see if we can't soften that bevel off a little bit more. I keep going up top because I'm so used to that being the last thing I did. All right, so yeah, let's go and adjust this. We want a little bit of a bevel on top of this as well. So let's just straighten these out. That should be beveling off the top of this. There we go. Ok, 
Okay, I'm quite happy with that. We could do an actual circular bevel in the middle, but we're not going to. Oh, we should, shouldn't we? All right, let's do that. Let's add the actual circular bevel. So just delete this. Um, right, we're going to do the same thing again that we did over here. This time, instead of using all this gubbins, we're just going to use this stuff. Uh, actually, we use the bevel over here, don't we? We can probably just duplicate that. I duplicate this. Uh, don't give it a curve this time. And this time, make the bevel... Um, let's see. Internal, but at a different level. So, we reduce how strong it is. Is that going to work? Hmm, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh wait, I want to multiply it on top, don't I? Sorry, okay. Multiply. But what I want to do... Yeah, I do want to re redo this part. Sorry, I'm back and forth tonight, folks. It's because my brain's saying, you want this? And I go, no, I don't see why. But then afterwards, my brain's like, see, told you. So, yeah, just let me work this stuff out. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the reason I want to do this is because I want to make this scale this smaller. Because it is having an effect further down. But I only want it to affect a certain part of it. If that makes any kind of sense. So let's adjust this so we're just getting a small little bevel. Which There we go. We don't need levels right there. Yeah, this is going to be set to multiply, and we're going to just adjust the shape here, the scale of the shape. Okay, we want it to be there, but multiply is obviously too strong. So let's adjust this. Let's just see if that works. I don't think it will work too well, but it might be okay. Okay, so it's too strong. Come on, well that really takes a second to pop in, doesn't it? Okay, we can do it that way. And then we'll, so we'll get rid of the levels. Uh, and we're going to get the bevel again, and we're just going to quickly adjust it. One hour ten left, right? We're going to start texturing soon. This is not going to be an easy one. Okay, so 0 0.05. Wait, minus 0 0.05. Sorry, 0 0.005. <laughs> okay, that's more the shape that we're after. Uh, we just want to smooth that out a little bit. There we are. Okay, so let's quickly go and try and start texturing this thing. Because it's going to be a pain. So we might as well start now. I want to make the holes a bit wider as well. Now that we've got them in place, they look good. Uh, we want the holes to look like they're properly sort of insetting them. So let's just go and make adjustments here. Um, one of the issues we've got with that is we're using the bevel to generate them. So again, I might have to duplicate this once more. Just to make sure we're not going to stomp on it over anything, which I'm going to do now. This. Let's move that a second. Yeah, like I said, normally I wouldn't do this much duplicating of stuff. I'd reuse things because it's cheaper, but we don't have time to sort of think about all that properly at the moment. Uh, so this is going to go to where that one was going to. Nothing should change. And then now I can go and change the scale of the actual hole, and it will affect the hole, but not the dial. There you go. See, just like the original. Okay, cool. Now, save that. And again, I'm going to reduce the strength of the hole on that because it's too strong right now. Actually, it's not bad. We'll reduce it a bit anyway. Yeah, about that will do. Let's go 
could change the scale on these um the, the grooves as well. It's a bit too big. Uh, so increase that. I'm going to change this the overall scale. That looks so cool, isn't it? I like that. Okay, I don't want it to have such a strong effect further down, but I don't really have the time to fix that right now. Unless. Let me just see. Okay, plug that in there. So I plug that in there. I'm going to use a non-uniform blur. Just to quickly give myself a little mask here. Quickly invert the results of this. Set to max lighten. And then I can use this to mask that out so it's only affecting there. And then this should let me um, it should let me just sort of just pinch the bottom off a little bit like that. So let's see how that looks. There you go, it's more like it. Cool. I like that. Okay, anyway, yeah, one hour six. We're really going to struggle for time now, but let's just do this. So, we've got our pieces in place. All the pieces are there. Everything else is going to be, like, purely colour information and roughness and whatnot. So, we should be doing roughness next, um, but first I want to place all the text and stuff because the roughness is very subtle on this, the changes. So, if we run out of time, I'd rather that go than not have the text there, if that makes any kind of sense. Now, I've got no idea what fonts and stuff they use. We're just going to use something. Um... This is going to take so many nodes. Let's move this over here because we're really going to need space. Okay, so let's get text. Let's start with the actual name, shall we? Um, okay, text. Let's hope we find something pretty quick that fits the bill. Okay, that's not too bad already. Let's have we got a bold. You know what? That's actually a pretty solid mix from the start. It's aerial. Okay, that was nice, easy, nice and easy to find, wasn't it? Okay, so one of them. Gonna get all the words that we need and then we're gonna use the shapes. Professional. Okay, and then we're gonna blend them together. I'm gonna use a transformation to the node on this one just to get it where I want it to be. And the size I want it to be. Because it needs to fit within... Oh yeah, no tile. It needs to fit within the width of the word Akai. And it also needs to be in a little box. So we're going to do that next. Something like that. It's actually a bit smaller because the box is that width. Okay. And then we get the box. So shape. Transformation. I'm actually going to duplicate this because I want it to be about that size. Oh, but of course that was adjusting the text, wasn't it? Alright, anywho. Let's get that there. It's going to be a lot of this now. Uh, I forgot how long this takes, so I'm really a little bit worried. But I'm sure we can do it. Uh, right, I'm actually going to put this here. Put that there. Because that's set to subtract, so that'll, that'll cut out the shape. And now I'm going to adjust the shape around that. Okay, I want that corner to be chopped off. Let's see if we can move professional over a little bit. There we go. Okay, I, I I know it's just a little thing, but I really do want that corner chopped off. It's going to bug me if I don't. So let's go do that now. Oops. Blend. So I'm, this should be a really quick thing. I'm just going to get this, duplicate it. 
I'm going to set it to subtract and I'm just going to rotate it to be where I want it to be. And cut that corner off. There we go. And then that should be over there. Sweet. Logo. Cool. We've got a logo. Let's get on with it. Now that I've just noticed that Akai is quite squashed actually. So let's just quickly squash it down. Much better. I like that. Okay, sweet. So we've got ourselves a little Akai logo. That was quick, which I'm really relieved about because we've got a lot to do and any time saving is beneficial right now. Uh, right. An hour two. Right. Okay. Okay. We can do this. I have faith. Let's create the new blend node over here so that it's out of the way of the rest. Oh, so the difference is though, we're not affecting the height information. <laughs> Excuse me. So yeah, we're just going to be doing this for colors right now. So let's not mess with this part. We'll just do this over here. Uh, so what we want to do, I'm going to get two uniform colors. I'm going to get the black base, which isn't actually black, obviously. I'm going to quickly eye drop this, so that color. We're probably going to adjust it. Uh, and then I'm going to get another duplicate of that. And I'm going to make that the color of the text, which we're going to use that color, which isn't exactly white, but it's not far off. And now we can use this as a mask to control that. Don't forget to save as well. I just saved, but don't forget to save. Frequently. Saving is your best friend. I'll put it I'll put it out there right now. Saving will save your life. Or at least save you some time. And who doesn't like saving time? I mean, honestly. Ow, 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 I have a so uncle. I bet you guys love my little songs. That's what you come for. Come for the texture, stay for the song. Alright, let's move this where we want it to be. Over here. Shrink that bad boy down. So it goes about halfway between... It goes to about halfway along each of the dials. It's about there. A little bit higher. This is roughly line with the top of that. Okay, cool. Our first bit of print is there. Awesome. Let's get the rest in. There's only 3 million more bits to go. I don't want to make the same mistake we made for the Photoshop one where we just straight up run out of time. So let's do this nice and quick. Um, so we're not going to put a lot of thought into this. We're just going to do, okay? Uh, that might be a problem because it's a different font, but we'll sort that when the time comes. For now, this will just be a stand standard font as well, I think. Actually, we can probably do that all into this mask because this is the just the colours. Put that over there. This whole bit here can be where the mask is that generates that white part. So, got to blend. We're going to get our numbers in first. I just want to. There's no specific reason. But yeah, just duplicate this text so that we've got the same font. I know it's, it's slightly different, but we're going to keep using it. We're just going to set it from bold to regular. I'm going to go for just the number one. That's not a number one. That's a number one. Transformation. It's going to be a lot of this, a lot of rinse repeat. So get strap in, folks. It's going to be a long one. I mean, they've only got an hour left, so it's not going to be that long. But you know what I mean. No tiling. I'm going to start duplicating these so that I don't have to do that. But this is the first one. Plus, if I duplicate it, they'll, they'll keep consistent size, won't they? It's actually quite tiny. You know, looking at it now, I don't like the size of the little LEDs, but if we get time, we'll fix that. These gaps are also a bit off, but you know, we don't have time. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Let's just keep going. So, duplicate you. What did I just press? Control F. No. Control D. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to do that. Set you to two. Think you're going to sense a pattern coming here, folks. Actually, I want to set this to three. I'm going to work upwards. So that they're aligned. Just a bit easy then, isn't it? Helps if that actually set to max lighting. Oh yeah. 
sorry. Didn't mean to cough directly down the microphone. Ever the professional. They don't look aligned at all. <laughs> They're also too big. God damn it. I want to get it right straight away. That's better. Okay. Move this over a little bit. Not rotate it. Why do I ever want to rotate it? My eyes are already so tired today. This is not helping. But we can do this. We can get through this. <laughs> All right. So, uh, 57 minutes. 57. All right. We can do it, folks. We can do it. I have faith. There's a lot to do. I was about to say there's not that much to do, but there actually is. So let's just get on with it. This is going to be number five. Keep pressing enter, but you don't, don't need to press enter. It just makes things weird. Pretty good at making things weird. I don't intend to. It's just who I am. Okay, there we go. One, three, five. Cool. And now we're going to duplicate these. Um, actually, I'm just going to duplicate one. Do the same thing. Do the same damn thing again. So now number two. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, not number two. We're going to make this number uh, six because it's next to five. And we're just going to move it along. Okay, that looks roughly right. Not got time for perfection. Poo. That was not good. Okay. This is going to be number four. I could grab the three and move it along that way, but this is just going to be quicker for us. Okay, and then this is going to be number two. There we go. So we've got some numbers. Right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, we want to add lights as well in a bit, but let's try and get this text in first because it's going to take so long. The lights should be fairly quick. So, <clears throat> we're probably going to run out of space. That's one of the main issues. Okay, lo I'm going to really move stuff away. Logo. Poo. Logo, numbers. Right, let's get these words in. These are the bits I'm most concerned about because there's a lot of them. Um, but theoretically, once we can just make one, duplicate it, it should be a bit quicker. But let's just get on with this. So, we, we need to make little shapes as well. We'll do that Do that last. We'll get these, these words in first. So, duplicate this. Feed that there. Duplicate that. I'm going to move this along a little bit just because it's a separate thing. Just to give a visual break, it kind of helps you stay organized. So, we want, to, we want it to say, Control, Space. Enter. Bank. Like that. Okay. We'd like the kerning to be different, but we can't control that right now, so we're just going to stick with it. Let's make this adjustment. So this is below the left top button. About there. And then we're going to obviously shrink it down as well. Like I said, it's not perfect. I'd like to fix the canning, but I can't. You don't get that kind of adjustments. This isn't Photoshop or Illustrator. All right, so let's duplicate that. I mean, they're made by the same people now, so maybe they can introduce that kind of stuff, you know, like advanced text editing. That'd be nice. All right, tech. So this one's going to say prog, enter, select. And I can't wait to get one of these one day. 
I'm going to at some point because I really really enjoy making music I'd, I'd like to do it you know just I'd like to do it a bit more seriously at some point in the future and by that I just I don't mean like change career or something I just mean you know like release an album or something even if it's just instrumentals just something like I love creation I love creating things and I think music is a really satisfying one because you get the kind of instant feedback of you know oh that sounds good whereas when you're creating visual art sometimes you can be working for days and see no result I mean you know mus musically it starts to come together oh my god it's a dynasty raid <laughs> thanks a lot for the raid man much appreciated hopefully you all having a great evening so far hey how's it going everyone <laughs> it's good to see you all whoa what's going on now Dennis is now following. Thank you for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Hello. Um, you just caught me in the middle of making an Akai sample pad, and I've got 52 minutes left, so I'm trying to whiz through. <laughs> so sorry if I just blow past. Oh, man, it's good to see you all. Thank you for following. Much appreciated. Uh, what was I doing? I forgot what I was doing now. Pad bank, that was it. Right, I'm trying to move my text so that it's uh, in the right place. Oh, it caught me off guard there. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Go, go, go. That's it. It's a time. I'll tell you what, man. These, these time limits, they really add a new level of stress to this. So, so far, we're going okay, I think. We're getting the right shapes in this stuff. Uh, just my main issue is getting all of this white text in. Uh, it's There's a lot of text to get in. All these little finicky bits. So, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting there. And then I'm going to deal with lights because they're much quicker to try and put in. So, let's duplicate this. <laughs> Thanks to the fellows, everyone. Really appreciate that. Have you all had a good stream? I hope you've had a good time over with Dynasty's stream. Guy's on fire, always doing amazing stuff. So it's nice to see he's has so many people watching. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, New. Much appreciated. Um, right, so this one's going to be full level. Full level? Yeah, full level. But that's full lever then. Full level. There we go. Oop, no, that's not right. <laughs> I'm enjoying this sound. True guy. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, let's move this down. Actually, I'm going to change this to say no repeat because that's... It's already in the right alignment, so it makes sense to do that. <laughs> oh, and thanks for all the follows, guys. Really appreciating this. Uh, note. Repeat. There we go. Speaking of note repeat, I sound like a bloody broken record tonight because I've been doing duplicating so many meshes. We've got loads of nodes, as you can see so far. It's going crazy. We are going absolutely node mad over here. But it's node Vember, not, you know, cheat Vember. So we've got to make sure we're just sticking with using nodes and not like SVGs and stuff. Which would be nice, but, <laughs> but it's node Vember, not SVG Vember. Uh, right, okay. To be fair, it's an SVG node. I could just bring something in, but then that's cheating, isn't it? That's that's against what you're supposed to do. So this one's going to be NR config. Uh, now we're gonna we're gonna subtract the shape from this later. For now, I just want it to be uh, the right word, and then, like I said, we can make adjustments as we go along. Thank you for the follow array. <laughs> uh, right, okay. So get this to the middle. Do 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 do. Almost there. Come on. This is so slow. By the way, guys, my my system is pretty much a potato. It used to be really good back when I built it, but I built it myself in 2012, so it's pretty out of date now. To be fair, I built it so it was fairly future-proof, um, but it just means like I can't work on anything over a 2K texture, and I can't crank my tessellation settings anything past 7, or my computer will just die when it's streaming. So uh, <laughs> sorry if anything gets a little bit laggy or a little bit imperfect, uh, but them's the breaks, isn't it? Got to work with what you got. Full level. Oh, God's sake. I can't type now. Right, okay, there we go. So we've got that, and then we're just going to move that where it goes, and then we're hopefully a little bit closer to freedom. Okay, right. We're making progress, folks. We are making progress. My main worry is all these boxes that are in between the pads here. So we're going to work on them next, because that's the most important bit to me. And then the lights, because the lights will catch the attention. Oh, I'm so out of breath. Right, we've got 49 minutes. It genuinely feels like a sprint when, <laughs> when you're doing this. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for being completely buggered, but I've got 49 minutes to get this done. And any support is muchly appreciated. So thank you so much for all dropping by. It really, really is nice to see you all. And hopefully I'll see you all again. It's been, it's, it's really, it's a nice treat to have people here. I've been doing this to myself since the 1st of November. Every now and again, my wife and brother might drop by, but it's pretty much been to myself. So this is a really nice little... A nice little visit. So I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Hearts to you too, uh, Bruchen. <laughs> right, so let's get our text. We've got this. I'm going to duplicate it because we've already got the right kind of scale. We've already got the right font that we want. So there's no point doing the same thing twice if we don't need to. So this one's going to be pad 13. Pad 13. And then let's see. What's the best way of doing this? Uh, I reckon... 
Oh god, right, so we'll get this. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do them individually. Sorry, we'll do it individually. Um, Alright, so let's position this where we want it to be. Which is over here. Up here. Because I'm only doing this in the base colour, it means that I'm not getting much visual feedback to work from in the 2D view, so I'm having to use the 3D view, which is slow and laggy. But we're doing it. That's how that's how we roll. Move this here, and then we want to increase the font size of that a bit as well. Once we get one right, we can duplicate them all, and hopefully they'll all get right. But we don't have time to make it super specific or super nice. We're just going to see if we can finish it in time. That's today's challenge, because this is a toughie. Uh, so let's increase that a little bit. Uh, about there. We still want space to be able to do the box next to it, you see, so we can't go too crazy with it. Oh, so yeah, let's get this done. So how are you all doing tonight, anyway? You all having a nice, uh, what day is it? You have a nice Wednesday, middle of the week. Everyone's getting ready to smash some more work tomorrow and the day after and the day after. But then you get the weekend. So, you know, as long as you're smashing the work, it's all good. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this one at a time with all the pad ones. And then I'm going to add the boxes afterwards that go next to them. Because they're a different font size and stuff. Oh, we're going to have so many nodes. Okay, let's save. Let's do this. Right. Pad 14. I hope you're all strapped in for a lot of rinse repeat. <laughs> you're at work now. Oh god. Are you are you on overtime or are you just in a different time zone to me? Because I'm I'm in I'm on England's time zone, so I'm in GMT at the moment. Um but I think Dynasty you're off in Sweden, is it? So I guess you've probably got quite a different time zone crowd. Uh I don't know what the time zone is in Sweden. Is it two hours after GMT? What's going on? Oh I didn't set it to uh, Max Lightning. Oh, guys, you've got me all a fluster. Right, that's there. That's there. Um, I've lost what I was doing now. There we go. I was moving this over. UK night shift. Oh, look at you. Look at you indeed. Well, I've, I've, uh, I've managed to get out of the night shifts at the moment, which is kind of nice. So I'm, I, I'm enjoying not doing them. So I'm sorry that you're doing them. <laughs> Did I do that twice? Why is it so bright? Oh, I've said, why is that ad sub? I'm a genius. All right, can you tell I'm getting a bit flustered now? I'm getting, I'm, I'm hot. <laughs> I get hot and sort of actually out of breath doing this because I don't know about you guys, but when I'm trying to work like this, the adrenaline kicks in and then I start like actually shaking and get out of breath like I'm doing a run. I also speak quite quickly, so I tend to just run out of oxygen, <laughs> which isn't ideal when you're trying to work. So if I just black out on the screen, that's what happened. I ran out of oxy oxygen. Come on, let's get this done. Pad 15 now. Oh, 45 minutes, folks. Oh, God, this is going to be so close. I've had one of these before where it, I did it with, like, three seconds to go on the timer. Now, I'm not going to lie. If if we get to the time and I'm very, very close to finishing it, I think we can allow me to be a couple of seconds over. You know? just I'm just saying. I'm not making excuses in, in advance. I'm just saying there's a chance that could happen. <laughs> All right, this is going to be pad 16 now. And then we can move on to the ones below it. Um, which I wish I could do all as one go, but I can't because I'm an idiot. But that's how it works. Okay, pad 16. Let's do this. Put it in the right place here. Oh, okay, moving on over. I hope you guys like the soundtrack, by the way. This is one I mentioned the other day, actually, to, to Dynasty uh, on his stream. It's one of the uh, DMCA safe uh, Harris Heller synthwave ones it's quite nice i enjoy it gets the gets the uh, the blood boiling you know not that it needs to be any more boiling right now but yeah let's try and move this oh god move all this stuff out of the way okay move that right over there so it's right out of the way we move all this stuff right up here uh yeah and then we're going to get this and move it right over here there's going to be so many of these i'm going to try and keep it a, a little bit organized if i can but not a whole lot organized uh so where's everyone from in the chat anyway? If anybody's still there, where are you where are you list where are you watching from at the moment? Or if you're working, where are you working from? <laughs> um, okay, get this. It's going to be pad twelve. I'm not normally this flustered and rushed. Normally it's a bit more relaxed than this, a bit more fun. But at the moment it's just so it's going to be so close. I just know I've got to whiz on through. Southeast US, very nice. I went to um. Florida in January for my honeymoon, which I think is, is that Southeast US? I'm sorry, my my, my US geography is pretty awful. Uh, I only found out whilst we were there that Florida was in the South. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. 
So yeah, <laughs> apologies. Um, but it's fascinating though to see, you know, things like Twitch can just bring people from anywhere together. It's amazing stuff. Hey, thank you for the follow. Right, this one's gonna go over here. Oh, come on. Okay, we're now on pad 11 for this guy. He's pad 11. What do you guys think? Do you reckon I'm gonna make this? I think it's gonna be a close one, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, it's gonna be tight. But we gotta try, haven't we? We can't just give up. I think at the moment it's probably 60-40 uh, if I'm gonna make it or not. 60% not gonna make it. <laughs> but I've gotta keep going. Otherwise we'll never make it, will we? The only way to guarantee failure is by not trying. So you gotta keep trying. Do, 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 do. Come on, moving it over. So slow and laggy. Okay, there we go. And again. So what are you guys doing in Dynasty stream today anyway? Still doing uh, RVT stuff? That stuff fa fascinates me, man. I'd, I'd never heard of it until recently. Because I've been a bit out of the loop with Unreal because I hadn't been using it for a while. And then uh, I've started using it again recently. And yeah, it's just it's fascinating. There's so many new methods of doing things. Oh, I've lost my thing. There we go. Do, do, do. There's that. Okay, cool. We are two rows down. We might be okay, guys. We might make this. We might make this. I hope we make this. <laughs> Please let me make this. Okay, there we are. There's that. Okay, this time we're going to be looking at pad... Uh, pad 5. Pad 5, yes. And maybe later pad me. Ah, bad Star Wars jokes. Not the time for bad Star Wars jokes, Chris. Okie dokie, there's that. Oh, such a laggy computer. Same scene with the RVT stuff. Edge decals. Ooh, very nice. Great info. Yeah, so full of knowledge. I think the whole Dynasty Empire in general is one of the best things to happen in a long time for the, uh, the game dev industry. You know, like, Polycount came along and that was a big deal. It still is a big deal in a lot of ways. But then things like, you know, ArtStation come along and sort of sprouted different stuff. And obviously, you know, the Dynasty Empire is a huge game changer. When it comes to resources and, you know, everything in one place, people making connections and get, getting advice and just learning. Like the portfolio feedback streams, it's so, so valuable. Even if it's not your portfolio, it's so valuable to just see and get the information. And you're just to get somebody else's opinion on where they're looking from. Um, just because you can't beat experience and if somebody's got experience and they can tell you things you just didn't see in somebody else's work, it's basically just training your brain and training your eye to see it yourself next time. It's just so, so invaluable. I don't think enough people really appreciate how important it is to get feedback on your work. Uh, I know like when I was first starting out, it's it felt like almost like a, a beating to your pride to ask for feedback, which is so stupid. But, you know, as, as a student, you're like, oh no, I'm... I don't need feedback. I'm just, this isn't this isn't what I envisioned. This wasn't the dream, but it's just ridiculous. Get feedback if it's not if it's objectively not as good as it could be. Somebody's going to tell you how to fix it, and then fix it. It's not that hard. But yeah, I need to watch more streams. The problem is I don't get much time at the moment, especially doing November stuff. But once November's finished, I'm really looking forward to being able to focus and actually get some like you know, proper work done in good sessions. Because at the moment, I'm only getting these two hours a day. And you can't achieve greatness in two hours, no matter what you're making. Um, so, you know, it's, I'm never getting the best results. I'm just getting nice results or okay results. Sometimes terrible results. But, you know, I'm looking forward to sitting down and getting a lot of stuff done nicely. Because before this, I was working on a library scene that I've had on the go forever. Like, it's one of those scenes where, you know, you, you go back to it, you dabble a weekend every now and again. But it's been over the course of like two years or something. And it just never gets finished because of it. So I figured I'd start this channel um, as a way to actually get some work done. And hopefully that'll pay off. It's paying off so far. I've already got more work done on that library scene than I have in the past two years. Well, in the past year. Um, but I've been busy with work and stuff as well. So it's not it's not all procrastination and sheer laziness. <laughs> but some of it is. You know, you've got to train yourself out of that. And that's what I'm trying to do. It's okay being lazy if you acknowledge that you're lazy and are trying to fix it. Whereas if you just keep being lazy, that's just useless, isn't it? What doesn't help is the PS5 coming out this week. Have any of you guys got it so far? 
I've got it and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm just not getting to spend much time on it. Which is a damn shame because it's a hell of a unit. <coughs> Sorry. It's a hell of a machine. It's surprisingly powerful. And it plays PS4 games like a dream. Like I've been playing uh, Overwatch with my, my, my brother and wife and stuff on it. It's so good. I'm actually hitting shots. It's great. I'm guessing that's just the increased frame rate. But I don't know. It might just be a, a placebo effect for all I know. Oh, I can feel myself slowing down. I've got to pick it up again. <laughs> I was getting relaxed and comfortable. All right. Okay, this is the last one for the pad section, and then we can move on to the next bit. Uh, hopefully, the next bit I can just duplicate and do some trickery, see if that helps. But I don't think I can, to be honest. Right, pad four. Okay. Oh, God, I shouldn't have met my tea and then came up to stream and then got out of breath, because now I feel nauseous. Uh, boop. Okay, there we go. Right, we're getting some information. The good news is, I'm at a stage where if we finish right now, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Because you can at least see what it is, you get the idea. But, I want to get the extra bits in. But before we carry on, before we get the, the bits of the white boxes, I want to get the glowy parts in, because that looks cool. And we've got text in at the moment, so I want to get the glowy boxes in, so that we can have something ooh about it, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's quickly go and get this. Oh, we do these ABCs as well. Why not? Okay, so get this. Blend it again. Sorry, duplicate it again. Do, do, do. This is just such a funky soundtrack. Right, let's move this over here because it needs to go over by the little LED. There we go. Okay. Duplicate that. I'm sorry, it's a bit of a boring one today, guys, because I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. But it's going to be worth it. Hopefully the excitement is in the challenge. We've got 35. Oh, we've got 35 minutes left. Okay, we can do this. Uh, yeah, I might need a few Fs, Fs in chat for respect at some point. <laughs> just to show you respects for the, uh, the failed attempt. But hopefully that won't be happening. Uh, come on. Okay. <laughs> double F. See, that's how <laughs> that's how screwed I am. I'll need a double F. All the respects possible. Twice the amount of normal. But I reckon we'll, we'll at least get a nice result. Like I said, even if I had to stop right now, I'd be happy-ish. But no artist in the world wants to be happy-ish, do you? Let's go. Thank you very much, Ponce. I'm sure we can do this. Let's get it. Let's get pumped up. Let's get it done. Uh, the good news is this bit I'm making right now, I've only got to make once and duplicate it. Uh, let's very quickly make this shape to... Um, to put there so to do that i'm gonna let's see just without thinking properly because i've not got time to think i'm gonna quickly get one of these i'm gonna get an edge detect plug that in there set the roundness to something quite high like so okay and then i'm going to uh i don't know blend it with that to multiply it and get the shape we want and then i'm going to blend it again this time I'm going to use a transformation 2D node. Uh, let's just quickly see. By the way, I'm not thinking about this properly right now. I'm just going really quickly with it. It's kind of like sketching a designer. I enjoy doing this because you sometimes you do by doing this, you find new ways that you didn't think of before because you're not thinking actively. You're just doing, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I, I actually don't want to do that one. I want to do multiply. Wait, no, I want to do subtract. What am I doing? What am I doing, folks? Subtract. Thank you. Okay. Super quick, super cheap. Doesn't really matter because it's going to be super small, but that will do. Um, <laughs> there's probably so many better ways I could have done that, but for now, this is the way we're doing it. So, oh, come on, no tiling. I, I'm, I'm at a point now where my hands are so kind of, like, shaky that I'm missing clicks. So, that's, that's what's happening, in case you're wondering... Okay, put that there, and then we're going to quickly add this in here. Uh, set this to... Oh god, I've closed it. Max Lighten. I don't think I've ever collapsed that stack before. Right, there we go. Shrink that right down. Like I said, we're not going for perfection, we're just going for get it done. Oh god, what am I doing now? What's he doing? The lad's gone rogue. 
That'll do. Right, it's tiny. We don't need to be specific with it. Although, let's see if we can increase that edge to detect roundness. That's, dude, come on, it's a pixel wide. What am I doing? All right, so. On this as well. Okay, put that there. Oh, we can't see the results, can we? Genius. Okay, so that's obviously too big. Oh, I forgot about the LEDs being there. I was connecting it to the A. Uh, okay, now let's move the mirror so that we can get it adjusted properly. Oh god, too fast. Too fast for my slow machine. Oh, come on. Okay, that'll do. Right, so now we've got that. We can then get a blend. 32 minutes. Oh god. Right, get a blend, get a transform. Got to get the result of this, put it there. I could do it there as well, but let's just do it what we're doing because it's quick. Okay, then let's just move this over. Wait, not just that bit, you muppet. All of it. Oh, wait, I didn't do it that way, did I? Oh, I should have done them as one thing and then combined it on top, then I could duplicate it. Okay, let's fix this. Let's quickly fix this. Oh, God. Right. So, for now, delete that. Uh, we want to blend these together. Okay, new plan. Put that down here. And we want to blend these and this. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And then blend this into that. And then blend this into that. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. All right. So now we've got what we needed. And then we can use our shapes to blend this. Yeah. Oh. All right. Panic over. <laughs> okay. So now we can duplicate this. Feed that into transformation 2D node, and then we can move it over. Add that into here. And job is a good one, as they say. I keep misclicking, and it's bugging me. Okay. Move this over. There we go. That's better. One big unit. Uh, hey. Okay. Right. I'm happy enough with them for now, text-wise. 30 minutes, let's get the lights in. Let's save, don't forget to save folks, always save. My God, so many nodes. Okay, right, move these over here. We need to try and keep some kind of housekeeping going on, but not much, because we don't have time for much. Uh, I'm gonna quickly add, oh, we're gonna need an emissive as well, aren't we? All right, let's get a blend node in here. So this is our text. Nice to meet you, text. I'm Chris. All right, there's this, and then I'm gonna duplicate this gonna make this our light color which is just gonna set to that pink right now because we haven't got time for specifics and then the mask we're gonna use where the LEDs are uh, which are way down here somewhere where did I put you LEDs are you here yes you are sneaky little buggers all right so we're gonna use it pre-level so that we get the whites for the mask I'm gonna leave it slightly gradated we're not gonna use histogram scan or anything because it gives it that kind of glowy look then see it's kind of nice so boom nice okay oh not perfect though what is going on there Oh, wait, I said it to uh, Max Lighten, did nice. I? So, okay, it will need a slight histogram adjustment. We ain't got time for perfection, so let's just get this done. Almost there. Let's just change this down a bit. There we go. Okay, and then what, we can use this mask that's feeding into the red to feed into the emissive as well later. So we've got that. Um... Everything's just going to be on at the moment. We can turn some things off if we get time, but for now, everything's just going to be on, I'm afraid. Uh, we just want one of these buttons on, though, um, which is this bit. So if I get this, I'm going to quickly duplicate it. I could just drag from that node, but this is just a bit quicker and easier for me right now, since I'm not really thinking properly about stuff. Uh, blend there. I'm going to get a shape node, not a sharpen node, a shape node. Scale it down. I don't know why I just scaled it down. I'm going to do that anyway. Use a transformation 2D. Set this to subtract. Okay, and I just want one of these. All 
Wait, not a subtract, a multiply. Yeah. So I just want one. So let's do this. Oh, come on, be nice. Do this, and I'm going to do this. There we go. I don't know which one I just turned on, but it's not going to be exactly that one, but let's just stick with it. So, blend. Okay, it was top right, apparently. There we go. Our top right one is going to be on, okay? So, forgive me. It's not exactly like the reference. You sound like Boris. <laughs> which Boris? Boris Johnson or Boris from the YouTube with the Russian channel? Who likes Dr. Sausage and uh, Halva. I love Halva, it's really nice. Uh, okay, so let's just have a look now what's left, what's left. Okay, got to get the little rims in there. Now to get them, we can go to the pads which I put over here somewhere. There they are. Okay, so to create them, I used a little uh, cheeky little edge detect. Blended it in like that and then subtracted it slightly, I think. I can't remember how I did it now. But either way, this is the smaller one, so I'm going to get this. Um, get this, put that there, subtract it, and then we're left with the little rim. Oh, so out of breath. The one that says get it done. All right, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, so quickly get this blended on top of this. You're saying Boris just reminds me of Boris Fellasio. I've not, I've not heard that name for years. I used to be really into his stuff when I was a teenager. Well, there we go. That worked out better than expected almost straight away, actually. So we can keep that as it is. Um, I think that's okay to call the lights done. So let's move on to hopefully getting oh, 25 minutes. I think, you know what, folks? I'm feeling hopeful all of a sudden. I think there's a chance we can do this. All I've got to do is these boxes here. So if we can make one sort of little segments of it, duplicate it, and we can get it done. So we're going to make a thing about that long, so let's move all these over. Like, really, really over. <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab one of these that I did before, just so I can use it as a starting point. There's no point in redoing work. Especially at the moment, I just don't have time. Right, so to do this, we're going to do something a bit different. Um, let's just see, where where is this that I've just made? Down there, okay. I'm going to start at the top left again. Uh, right, yeah, top left. And come on, be nice to me. Stop being so lagging slow. Eh, there we go. Move it over and then... So yeah, I'm going to use this. It's a smaller font. And it's also on a different background. So 0 0.15 maybe. It might be too small. Yeah, it's too small. 0 0.2 right so now we're going to have it saying swing 60% sounds like a statistics on weddings and marriages uh, right so there's that and now if we use a, uh, a blend node get a shape I'm being really, really messy with this, but like I said, I'm just trying to focus on getting things done right now. If this is actually in a production environment, I'd be so much more careful than this, obviously. I'd be a lot more optimised, a lot more thoughtful about it, but I also would have a bit more time. Not loads more time, granted, but a bit more. You know, sometimes it takes a couple of days to get a, like a really, really popping texture going, whereas two hours is no time in anybody's books. So I'm going to subtract the... Oh, wrong way around. Subtract the text from the box... Uh, I said, oh wait, they're in the wrong place. I've not even positioned it yet, have I? Genius. All right, let's get this box where it needs to be. Oh man, I'm thirsty now. <laughs> I've not got time to stop. All right, so there, let's do this. Shrink this down. Oh, it's doing that again where it won't bloody grab the corners. Got to do it manually. Do, 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 do. I like this song. It's probably a little mood lifter. Uh, okay, that looks about right. That will do us nicely for what we're trying to do. It's a little bit blurry. Um, that is going to bug me later, so I'm going to very quickly fix out the histogram scan just before it drives me absolutely crackers. Okay. 
Okay, and then, see, I'm just spend, spending a bit more time on this because I want this to be right because it's going to be duplicated so much. So, theoretically, I'm not going to fit bigger words than that in it, so it should never get bigger than that. That is too big, though. Looking at it already, I can see it's too big. So let's go and quickly adjust it overall. Again, not the most optimized workflow right now, but it's what we're doing because it's the time we've got. Um, let's shrink it down. Oh, Jesus. Oh, double Jesus. What am I doing? I want to shrink this down. Okay, move it up. Ah, oh, come on. Be nice to me. Be nice, computer. I'm nice to you. I buy you things all the time. That's a straight up lie. I've not bought anything for this computer in so long. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is our first one done. So we need to make just another 15 of these. Oh my God. All right, let's clear some space. Boom. Okay, let's make this organized so that we can duplicate it neatly and then we can get on with it. Get on with the show. There we go. Okay, let's do this. 22 minutes to do this 15 times. That's a close one, but we can do it. Okay, so this is going to be swing. What is this? Swing 62%. At least it's just a quick change. And move this over. Good, and this is a good high tempo song as well, just to get the uh, get the, our blood flowing. <laughs> right, this box is still too big, but I've not got time to fix it now. This is staying as it is. So sorry, folks. Sorry, all the perfectionists out there who spot stuff and go, "No, fix it." I shan't be fixing it today. I'll probably fix it in the future, though. To be fair, I can't just leave stuff like that. Quickly get this done. I think we're going to do this, guys. What do you reckon? You know, before I said it was a 60-40. I think it's a 65-35 now. Slightly better odds. Right, so move this over. Thank you for everyone for dropping by today, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. Like I said, I've been in doing this to myself basically every single day for the whole month <laughs> almost every day i've had a couple of days off but i've still done the work just haven't streamed it because i've been stressed out or whatever but yeah it's nice to have some company it's nice to have somebody here actually just watching you know uh, adds to the adds to the fun it adds to the stress as well if it's like you know something tense but that's what this is about this challenge is about having it tense moments and having like a oh my god he did it moments or oh it was so close moments so I appreciate you all being here. And for all those that have followed, thank, double thank you. Um, it's really, really nice. I, remember I used to have a Twitch channel years and years ago playing games. And it was such a good time. And I really, really missed the sense of community. But I didn't have time to get back on and stream games. So you know, that's another reason for streaming art is that I actually get some work done. And I could still have that kind of, that stream community feel to it, you know. Uh, except I wasn't. I didn't have the community <laughs> but we're getting there i think i've probably got like 15 followers now or something so we're getting there and i appreciate each and every one of you because once november's finished i'll get back to my usual monday streams where every single monday uh, i'll stream for two or three hours and we'll be working on that library scene i was telling you about before which is the it's the library from the it's king louis the 16th library from the palace of versailles it's a beautiful place um I've never been there, but the pictures are great. But it just looks so nice. I wanted to make it in 3D. I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Unity at the time. And I was like, oh, man, I want to make this. I just wanted to mess with things that were gold in PBR. <laughs> uh, you know, like, they've, they've painted... They've got so much painted gold in, like, Baroque and Rococo styles and things. 18 minutes, folks. This is one of the last things we need to do for this. So we're, we're, we're on track. My heart is racing like a jackrabbit, but we're on track. It's just, it's nice to get excited about art again, you know, if you've had a bit of a lull. Which I have a little bit recently, but this is bringing it back and I like it. Oh man, these are, these are too low. I need to fix it before I get in too deep. Okay. Fix this one. Right, there we go. Okay. Last few, folks. Very last few. 
Oh, come on, come on. By the way, I hate a timer. <laughs> I've always had a thing with timers, especially like in video games. If you've got a timed mission, that was always my weakest thing. I just freak out. I don't know why. It's something about like the timer being on would just give me the heebie-jeebies, and I just couldn't do it. So that's another good thing about doing these streams is that, that added pressure. I've not been changing the text on these. I've just been positioning them. I'll change that in a minute. Um, yeah, the added pressure of the timer really adds that little extra level of spice. And I like it. It's good. Uh, right, this is... Oh, so many... Oh my god. So many boxes and I've been working on a diagonal. Didn't even notice. It's just a false habit at this point. Okay, last box of this row. So yeah, I'll position all these and then I'll go and change the text. Okay, now let's do that again. Four more. I've got space for four more. Jesus Christ, I've just really messed this up. That's okay. 17 minutes. I may need to be put on oxygen after this. <laughs> there we go put that there and then we're going to quickly very quickly since we're not worried about what the text says at the moment we can just reposition it straight down oh, so close i don't like using the directional pads on my uh substance because i've got a dodgy audio driver and it seems to mess up whenever i use whenever i use substance just so annoying i think it just can't handle the fact that something else is used like the g the gpu uh, the processor and it goes, no, I need it for my audio. Which isn't true. It's just annoying. It doesn't need it. It's mine. Okay. I definitely need a cup of tea after this, I think, as well. I need to calm down like any Brit would with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea and a slice of cake. Except we haven't got any cake. Getting some tomorrow, though. But the reason I didn't stream yesterday is because I was watching the final for the Great British Bake Off with the wife. Which is an extremely English thing to do, but it needed, it needed doing because last year, uh, I think it was last year, the final got spoiled for me before I got to see it because I was waiting. I recorded it so I could sp speed up through the adverts and then I saw on Facebook who won. It just ruins it, you know? You do have cake. We, wait, we do have cake. You're me. That's the wife, ladies and gentlemen. That's Paws and Tails is the wife. I just, the aforementioned wife. We have cake. Oh, of course, the Tesco's been nice. Cup of tea and a slice of cake it is then. Okay, folks, we're almost there. We did all the text. I'm so happy. You've not watched it. I won't tell you. Don't worry. I won't spoil a thing. I hate people that spoil things like that. It's so annoying. Because they're like, oh, it's just a baking competition. It's like, yeah, but it matters to me, goddammit. Okay, what was left to do? Um, oh, God, I feel like I forgot something. Oh, wait, we haven't got the main text up top right. Okay, MPD 218, and then there was something else. What was it, folks? Can anybody remember what it was? Oh, I need to change the text in here. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. I'll do that in a minute. That's secondary. Wife. <laughs> yeah, wife, can you send some uh, some cake to uh, uh, to Array Overrun as well, please? Just send a... Do a, do a second Tesco task. That'll be all right. Uh, okay, so let's get this in here. Wait. I want to duplicate the Akai logo because it's the closest thing to it. I think it's probably the best bet, isn't it? But duplicate this. Blend these together. That should give us the right room to manoeuvre. So max lighting. Put that there. Come on, folks. 14 minutes left. My computer's been a pain. I have faith we can do this. So, eh. <laughs> Don't send my cake. I mean, you know what? I'll, you know what? All right, since you're nice, I'll share my cake. How's that sound? Uh, I think... We can arrange that. <laughs> right, so we've duplicated the Akai logo for now, just to get the uh, the sizing right and stuff. I'm going to move it over. So it's roughly in the right spot, which it is roughly in the right spot. Okay, and then I'm going to change what the text says. We don't need the bottom shape anymore. We can just have the text like that. Um, but I do need to make some adjustments to it because it's not exact. Uh, let's just get rid of these. Okay, so this needs to say MPD 218. I would love one of these units, by the way, if anyone's listening and wants to buy me one. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed making music this year. It's just, I've so got into it. No tiling. What did I do? Okay, undo. Whatever I did, I don't like it. Oh, 
god. What's happened? Okay. Whew. I don't know why it was staying tiled when I told it not to tile then, but whatever. Okay, MPD 218. Uh, let's make it a bit taller as well. Just a little bit. I know this is the wrong text, this is the wrong font. Oh, Yakuza Chapter 7, nice work. Yeah, just before the PS5 arrived, I was playing Yakuza Like a Dragon, which is really, really good. Um, but I, I've always loved the Yakuza series, but the wife doesn't like that kind of gameplay. She's more into RPGs and stuff, and this is a Yakuza RPG. So it's like, it's so damn good. It's got the sense of humor that you know, the Yakuza games normally have. It's got the RPG elements. It's just fun, and it's got a great story as well. Um, right, let's get this middle section done. How can we do this? I think if we grab a cheeky little bevel, this might be our best bet. Take it inwards. Then we got a histogram scan. We just get the middle part. We all need the left section of this anyway, but this isn't ideal the way I'm doing this, but it should theoretically work. So let's get this. Uh, got a blend. Whoops, not a blend. That was a Swedish blend, I think, with a J in it. Okay, put that there. Oh, no, not there. Come on, stop misclicking. You're getting frantic. All right, subtract that from that. That's not right. Okay, that was not what I intended to do. Oh, it's because I didn't put the transform. Okay, never mind. I missed the transform node. There we go. Now I'm going to just use the old uh, maskipoo here. Look at that. Just like that, we got pretty much what I wanted. And you know what? Right now it's good enough because I'm busy. Oh, look at that. I'm happy with that. Okay, save. 11 minutes left. Do you reckon we can go and... Oh, I've got hiccups now. Do you reckon we can go rename these with 11 minutes left? I think we can. So, so we, let's see. What did I miss? Swing 60. 62. Okay, X to clock. That needs to say. Oh, God. I've got to find it. Um, okay, sw swing. Where the swing thing... Okay, they're... Oh, Jesus. They're all there. <laughs> okay. Swing 62. Right, so at least they're in order. Uh... Okay, there. So this should be the one that says X to clock, right? Yeah. That's a relief, I tell you. Right, tap tempo. Rap Rempo? <laughs> it's like Scooby Doo said it. Rap Rempo. Tap, tap, tap. I'm, I'm losing my mind. I can't. Tap tempo. No, tempo. There we go. Oh my god, have you ever been so frantic that your hands go? I don't know what we're doing anymore. I did know once and I've just lost it. Right, this should be swing 58, I think. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. That means that this is swing 56. And I don't, I don't even need to change the word swing anymore, which is good. Uh, right. 56. Okay, now we're on to swing 54. Very, very specific with the timings of the swings, aren't they? And then swing off. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of swing when I'm uh, quantizing stuff. It's good It's good at times. It has its uses, but I like to have full control over stuff. I'm just a bit anal like that. Uh, so, quarter time. Oh, wait. That's not... Yeah, it is that. Okay. We need to adjust the size of that box. Okay, some of these are going to need adjustments. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't plan for that. Nine minutes. Oh, Jesus. All right. We're still fine. Put that there. Move everything over. We're still fine. Nine minutes. I feel we can still do it. Oh, okay. Right. It's a spanner in the works. It's absolutely a spanner in the works, but we can still do this. So, you know what? It might be quicker if I duplicate. Oh, God. They're all like that. Is it quicker if I just duplicate these? I'm doing it. The lads are maverick. Okay, this way I'm going to resize the, the box as well, which takes time. Uh, it might be quicker doing it that way, but I don't know, but I don't have time to experiment and find out. Okay, so an eighth and then a sixteenth time. So let's, again, same again. Uh, 
Just get rid of these. Oh god, come on. There we go. Get rid of them. Duplicate this lot. Okay. This one's going to say uh, 1 16th time. Uh, my hands are so cold right now. It's like, dude, can we have some blood, please? Like, no, it's being used elsewhere. It's needed to stay alive. You'll get blood when I'm good and ready. Mm, come on, stop being so slow. Oh, this is so close, folks. So, so close. I'm not liking how close it is. I was very comfortable. Now I'm very not. So, that one thirty second time. Who the hell? All right. Um, delete. Duplicate. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody get hovering over that F key for the respect you're going to have to pay when I fail. <laughs> I really hope I don't fail. I'm feeling confident with this. It'd be nice for the time, actually, the first time I actually have an audience to be able to pull off an okay-ish looking texture. I'm not. I'm already not going to have time to deal with roughness, which I wanted to do, but to be fair, this is a fairly uniformly rough surface, so it doesn't really... Obviously, roughness is really important in textures, but in this specific example for a speed material, we don't really have to worry about that too much right now. Okay, so... You there, you there. Move you over. What am I actually dealing with here? Okay, this goes down. Six minutes. Oh, it's going to be so close. So close. I'm going to be out of breath any second now. <laughs> All right, set this to a 30 second. Oh, God, I've just lost where I am. Okay, there. Cool, just delete the T off it. Nice. Okay, then a 16th. The box, yeah, I know the box is smaller. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to adjust it, aren't I? God damn it. Why have I got to be so picky? I'm going to move it. Okay, now we can duplicate that again. So you get deleted. Oh god, I just deleted a connection to something else. You get deleted. Bye, 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 bye. Okay, duplicate you. Oh, the uh, the playlist has restarted. That's how much out of time we are. Five minutes. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. Mm, come on. Where's my red? Oh crap, I did I did delete something. Oh no. Oh no no no. I deleted my buttons. Oh no 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 no. That's not good. Um right, where was that? Was that here? No. Oh crap, where was it? It was looking nice. Five minutes. Oh I know it was too good to be bloody true. <laughs> Alright, let's do it again. It wasn't that difficult. Uh, I think I just did this. Subtract. Quickly get over here. Was that it? What was connected there? Why was it that just... I'm so confused. What What else did I have plugged into that? Okay, it doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter. We've got to move on. I had one job. I know I had one job. Uh, thanks for, I know we've got this, we've got this. That was a little span in the works. Four minutes left, got to save. Uh, right, where was I up to? Oh, God. Um, okay, 30 second. We did the 30 second. We've got two left. Two left in four minutes. We can do this. I know we can do this. Uh, so, going to get you and you and delete you and your friends and they're all dead to me. There we go. Duplicate that one again. Put you there. And then this one is going to be uh, one eighth. I've got 16th. Wait, did I skip? Yes, this is meant to be 16th. Yeah, I think I just noticed the red wasn't there and freaked out. Okay, now this one is an 8th. Which I've done. Uh, and this needs to be moved over to... Wait. Okay, you know what? I've not got time to reorganize this. Uh, I just I swapped them around the wrong way. That's going to be a 16th. That's going to be an 8th. It's going to be out of order in the graph, but nobody needs to know that. And it's going to bug the hell out of me for eternity. But you don't need to know that either. So, delete these. Grab these. Last one, folks. This is it. 
three minutes left and we're doing it. We might even get a chance to do some buffness. <laughs> I doubt it, but you never know, do you? Right, a fourth, a quarter. <gasps> oh, I've got hiccups now from all the excitement. So you thought the Bake Off final was going to be exciting? You just wait for this. <laughs> uh, remember, no spoilers, folks. No spoilers in chat ever. That's one of the main rules. Right, there we go. I think we've done it. Uh, oh, well, I'd like some emissive. Can we have some emissive? I want to use this. Um, let's just quickly get that. Let's create an output node. What time? Two minutes. Right. Quickest emissive making ever. Um, I'm not even going to name it. Just kind of emissive. Here we go. Uh, we need... Okay. Get a... I'm, I'm, what am I doing? Okay, blend. I'm going to plug this uniform color into there. It's the emissive that I want. Actually, I'm going to duplicate it because I probably have to boost it because it's emissive. Uh, I want to mask it to this. Ah, oh, missed. <laughs> VR puts in 3D. Boom. We glow, boys. We glow. And now let's make the background uh, invisible. We haven't even got an opacity node. God damn it. All right. Another output node. Output. Oh, I'm so out of breath. All right. I'm a fat boy. Of, it's not good to be this fast. 60, oh, Jesus. All right. Thank you for the... the the, the sheer panic. All right. Uh, okay, main shape, main shape. Where are you? You should be the first thing I made. There. Get you. <laughs> Pass the node. Where are you? Boom. And then we should go to... Boom. Oh. We did it, folks. We actually did it. <laughs> what a friggin' surprise that was. Okay. Didn't get to do any roughness stuff that I wanted to do. It's not as nice as it would have been. But... I'm happy. I'm happy. Kapow. Wow, look at that. I've never seen that one before. That's awesome. All right, so we've just recreated the Akai Professional MPD 218 in Substance Designer in two hours. Actually, one hour 59. <laughs> I'm taking that minute. And I think it's turned out okay. The roughness, like I said, I want to make adjustments later, but for now it's okay. Whole 50 seconds to spare. That's just enough time for my lovely wife to put the kettle on, I think. Um, right, so yeah, that's that's gone better than expected today, I think. So thank you all so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's tomorrow going to be. Tomorrow's... Let's get to our full reference here. Tomorrow's is going to be... Uh, oh, new section tomorrow. Patterns. It's geometric patterns. Very nice. It's an insta kettle. That is true. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Um, yeah, so it's geometric patterns tomorrow. So I'm very curious to see what we do with that. Um, so that means we get our tick for the day, everybody. What you don't know, this list here on the right... It's all the prompts we've done so far for November. And as we go through and finish each one, we can tick it off because we did it. So, today, we get to tick off our instrument tick. So, here we go. Ashkabaska boom. There it is. 25 is done. Glitch and illusion will definitely be fun. I'm not sure what we're going to do for them yet. I always try and not look too far ahead because I like to just have a kind of a, a fresh idea of it on the day or maybe like the night before, just have a quick thought about it. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I think that went better than expected. I'm generally out of breath. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Actual people with talent go running and stuff and they get fit and things. And I'm like, got to move the nodes and then get out of breath doing it. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, folks. Thank you so much for all those who raided today from Dynasty's stream. Thank you so much for Dynasty as well. And thank you, double thank you to all those that followed. I really appreciate that. If you do like what you saw today, feel free to follow. I'll be back on tomorrow doing the same thing. So... Thanks a lot for listening, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Bye-bye.